we only need self judgment and self introspection we don't have to run to gurus we don't have to run to ashrams we don't have to go to the himalayas we don't have to hide ourselves in the forest we don't have to do anything else simply ask yourself this question two questions every day reinvent of all the creations of god human being alone is an evolving consciousness of all the creations of god all of the creations once they attain a sense of physical maturity they stop they cannot be anything else they live that stagnant evolution for the rest of their life except a human being who even at 45 can wake up in the morning as mohandas karamchand gandhi and can reinvent a mahatma gandhi within by the end of the day only a human being can be an agnes till that morning and by evening can be a mother teresa nobody else can do that only a human being could have approached an aspect of life with anger or frustration or negative emotion and can transform themselves into a level of emotional maturity where starting this moment i can live my life with happiness and peace and joy and celebration only a human being can take a decision right now and drop jealousy jealousy from your life and need not be a part of you we can reinvent ourselves it's called renewing my perception reinventing yourself is renewing your perception first about you chances are there are a lot of you sitting here where you had a direction to your life which you had set when you were 22 and here you are at 45 and you are not simply asking yourself this question for all the potential that i have discovered about myself in last over two decades what else should be my expectation from life what else should be the focus of my life how do i expand the boundaries of what i can reach out for life i need to reinvent myself and in the point of reinvention here this is one clarity which will help a lot of which i want you to understand a phenomenal shift has happened to human behavior in the last 20 years the basis of relationship has shifted from emotions to information the biggest shift that has happened maybe because of social media maybe because we live in an information age the biggest shift that has happened to human behavior in the last two decades is the basis of relationship has shifted from emotions to information for example when some of you sitting here who's 40 and above and you join the family business and if your father or mother told you this is how it has to be done that was enough for you you will do it that way if today you tell your son who is joining a business at 22 this is how we do it or this is how it has to be done he'll ask you why if your dadi had told you this is our god and this is our kuladev and we all only worship this as the god you would have been going there for the last 40 years to the temple and worshiping chanting the thing today you tell your grandson who is 7 years old that this is our god he is going to ask you how is this our god why is this our god this doesn't mean let's not translate it into disobedience or you know i never ask my father those questions I, i you know these days these children they need i have seen this personally 20 years ago when i do a spiritual retreat and i tell people close your eyes they will all close their eyes 20 years later today when i tell in a spiritual retreat to people close your eyes next evening a question comes what is the science behind closing the eyes explain you have to explain now that doesn't mean that the next generation has become disobedient but the basis of relationship has shifted from emotions to information which means this is what you need to reinvent yourself this is not just with your family this is not just within ima the fraternity or the other social organization you are part of in your parenting in your marriage in creating an organization everywhere this is the basis which means the new 
system is this that on which you invest time and communication grows that which you do not give your time and communication to will shrink and die if today you feel your son who used to be very very close to you till 12 is not feeling so close to you as much as he used to be you feel there is a gap you don't have to think too much there's only one reason you are no more investing enough time and communication with your son now he is investing a lot of time and communication with a set of people his relationship with them will grow chances are you are feeling a gap with your own spouse it's no more what it used to be marriage coexistence is there but you no more feel the intimacy you used to feel the reason is very simple you are investing enough time and communication in ima but not on your family that's a period that is the only reason so your best friends are in ima not in your home the gap will come you no more there was a sense of ownership matrika there are a lot of these people who have been working with me for 10 years 12 years 15 years and they all continue to work as if this is apna organization i don't know why these new people they all come they ask for lakhs of salaries crore c to c they all studied and they all come back but they work for one or two years they go away there's only one reason all these people who feel sense of ownership towards your brand they used to invest a lot of time you used to invest a lot of time and communication with them this relationships have been built right now you are you or somebody else in the organization maybe you cannot do it directly you might have to create an hr which has to engage in investing a lot of time and communication team building Uh, maybe debates within the organization brainstorming sessions if you will have to get a set of new people to feel that sense of ownership towards the organization that's not going to happen unless you invest the point is simple purely based on emotion you don't feel intimate close or a sense of ownership towards anybody anymore if you have to grow a relationship whether that is professional or in life whether it is in business or in society if you have to grow any relationship you have to reinvent yourself on one aspect that on which you invest time and communication grows that which you starve of time and communication will shrink and eventually die if some of you are frustrated i'll tell you the reason the amount of time you are investing on whatsapp and instagram people who are far away from you feel close to you and people closest to you your family are becoming far away from you because you are no more investing enough time when did we last look into each other's eyes i'm sorry to ask you such a simple question i want you to examine next time you have a dinner in the family i want you to ask yourself this question are you even making eye contacts with each other i don't want to create a problem in your marriage but if your wife walks up to you and ask you what is the color of my eyes some of you will have to hang your head in shame and i'm concerned about it because you know the color of deepika's eyes you know the color of alia's eyes but you don't know the color of your own wife's eyes because we don't make eye contact anymore so when it comes to reinvent i want you to reinvent every dimension of your life every dimension matria you know i feel very close to my dog that's because you are investing time and communication with your dog i feel very close to my granddaughter because you are investing time and communication with your granddaughter my best friend these days does not even pick up my call because there's no more time and communication invested in this you have to apply this today if you find the sales have dramatically gone up in your organization but so is customer complaints there is very simple the senior management is investing a lot of time and communication with the sales department but not investing enough time and communication with customer support period that is the issue that is the issue so with this one template i am giving only three templates today with this one template that on which i invest time and communication grows that which i starve of my time and communication will shrink and die 
there is also the converse application to this those people who you want to drift away from you simply stop responding to every message they send you don't have to after some time they on their own will delete your number and move away from you you don't want a few people in your life i think you'll have to just shrink this and you can take some of those toxic people from your life they don't have to be a part of your life second thing evolution this is something i discovered when i was 40 that's about 18 years ago when i saw the first gray hair in my mustache it shook me a lot and i took so much time and effort to pluck it especially before my wife sees it i wanted her to feel she aged faster than me and not the other way around but that day was a turning point in my life i realized one blemish outside of you and it hurts you so much there is so much blemish inside you and because it can be hidden from the world it does not even affect you you can be jealous you can be envious you can be lustful you can lie to people who trust you the most you can be ego involved with a relationship where you should be bound by love and all this doesn't affect you one gray hair outside affects you so much some of that was a very very important day of self contemplation in my life i asked myself this question will you drink water from a dirty tumbler no will you eat out of a dirty plate no will you piss in a dirty urinal in the airport you go and you find this urinal is dirty will you piss there or you will shift to a cleaner urinal if you the mortal human being will not use anything that is dirty i'm asking myself this question and all of you this question how do you expect divinity to descend into you if your inside is dirty you can write donation checks you can ensure the temple is named after you you can sing the bhajans you can have the most decorated puja room you can be regular to hajj you don't have to you can send on facebook michami dugudam to everybody else regularly you can do everything but if your inside is dirty for me spirituality is not rudraj spirituality is not the rituals i practice to me spirituality is not the threads i tie spirituality to me simply means the bottle has to be clean from inside not just looking great from outside it has to be clean from inside so the simple question we need to ask to give a direction to our evolution is am i becoming a more beautiful human being from inside every day of my life am i becoming a more beautiful human being from inside every day of my life and we only need self judgment and self introspection we don't have to run to gurus we don't have to run to ashrams we don't have to go to the himalayas we don't have to hide ourselves in the forest we don't have to do anything else simply ask yourself this question two questions every day wake up in the morning and simply ask yourself this question where can i become a better human being today before going to sleep ask yourself one more question where did i become a better human being today even if you don't find the answer it is okay but ask these two questions every day how can i become a better human being today and where did i become a better human being today even if it means i smiled at a fellow driver in a traffic signal let it be even if it can be that today after having lunch tell one of those butlers call the chef normally in the world when we say call the chef means what and tell the chef the food is outstanding if he doesn't die of heart attack it'll be one of the most memorable days in his life you can write a handwritten letter praise your dad he is craving for that recognition 
even if you feel shy of directly talking to his eyes send a message to him telling that dad the greatest blessing in my life is that i am your daughter he is not expecting a message from you from this but there is so much that we can do but experientially i've learned something in life the only way to feel beautiful about yourself is by making other people feel beautiful about themselves there's no other way the only way and i think in the entire process it becomes self cleansing self purification so evolution is not just one dimensional don't be a one role wonder you are all us see you are not part of ima if you have not already achieved a reasonable amount of success so that is why you are part of ima so i know but you are a lot of you are a one role wonder so can i expand the definition of my life and have a much broader definition where i not only want to be successful but i want to be healthy wealthy loving blissful peaceful so can i expand this definition and simply go into a level of self introspection within myself by asking myself a simple question am i a more beautiful human being today than i was yesterday is truly the evolutionary process from which the manifestation of all the other dimensions of life will automatically happen people who are successful we admire them in their lifetime and forget them after their lifetime people who are beautiful we worship them for generations to come this is what history is suggesting to us who is talking about some of the success stories we will talk about steve jobs for another 10 years and after that nobody will speak about him because that place will be taken but we will talk about sri ramakrishna paramahamsa even 10 generations later we will talk about adi shankara even 10 gener 2500 years later we are still talking about those tirthankaras because they were all beautiful people so can i be the beautiful person from within who is able to manifest all the success in the world outside will be true justification to self evolution the third was lead on the heart of lead that you have as a theme is a simple theme that we need to recognize people do not follow leaders they follow followers this is at the heart of human psyche people do not follow leaders they follow followers let's dive a little deep into this you want to introduce a new technology into your business you are an organization of 1000 people 15 people believe this will do good to the business and the remaining 985 resist change everybody resist change when you all some of you should have also been a part of it when you all went and said that indore can be a spotlessly clean city people would have laughed at you in india you think that is possible they laughed at me as of february 14th i had been teaching for 28 years so this is my in that my 29th year first program this is my first program in my 29th year now when i went and told on february 14 1995 to a small set of 29 people that if matriya tells you the program will start at 11:30 and at 11:30 if matriya does not start the program please go and tell the world matriya is already dead there can only be one reason matriya told you he'll start the program at this time and if he has not started the program on time he should have already died otherwise the program would have started on time people laughed at me when i said that with pride and humility together i can tell you this as of today i'm standing for 28 years all my programs all over the world with no cancellation have started on time for 28 years all my programs have started on time which means if you educate people they will understand but how do we educate people five people will appreciate you for your punctuality 995 will laugh at you for that focus on the champions of change that's what leadership is about focus on the champions of change every moment you waste in life thinking about what you cannot control is an opportunity missed where you could have invested that moment on what you can control i repeat 
Every moment you waste in life, focusing on what you cannot control, you missed an opportunity to focus on what you can control. Now five people believe in punctuality. Nine and ninety-five don't. Concentrate on the five. Because these five are doing, fifty more will do. Not because you told, because people follow followers. Right now you will realize when some of you said that we can become, when Swachh Bharat was announced, when you felt that we can have the cleanest city in the country, 1% of Indore would have believed was possible, 99 would have made a mockery of that. Focus on the 1%, that 1% will become 10%, 10% will become 20%, 20% will become 70%, 70% will one day make this the number one city in the country on that aspect. People follow followers. In fact, with extensive research, Apple found out getting the first two and a half percent of the market alone, you need marketing. If you can market a new product to get the first two and a half percent of the market, this two and a half percent will bring the remaining market towards you. You don't have, to, Apple does not have to market. Apple consumer will go and tell other people you should use Apple. They will go and bring everybody else. Your focus has to be on this. There is gross amount of leadership that is wasted in fighting the people who resist change. Even in organizational development, I'm saying. You come and tell that we can grow at the rate of 100% for the next three years continuously. And... Ten people believe that it's possible. The rest of them, focus on the ten. That is, those are your champions of change. Looking at this ten, hundred more will come in. Looking at that hundred, five hundred more will come in. If you have to learn something from Bhagavad Gita, you transform one Arjuna. Generations to come will live by Bhagavad Gita because one Arjuna succeeded after Bhagavad Gita. If in Kurukshetra war, Arjuna had lost the war, nobody would have touched Bhagavad Gita. Because there is success after the transformation, everybody wants to read the entire thing. When Mahatma Gandhi told, when he came back to this country, that through non-violence we can drive the Britishers out, there were only four people who listened to him. And today there is no country in the world that does not have a Mahatma Gandhi statue. People follow followers. Take this into the heart of your leadership Create those few champions of change and leave it. They will get the rest of the society, the rest of the customers, the rest of the team to come in. Matri, I have told her to take care of her health so much times. She does not listen to me. You take care of your health long enough, she will follow the results that you have achieved in life. So when it comes to lead, at the heart of it you will have to remember, people follow followers not leaders. As a result, what you can do is accelerate this. Create systems, create a culture, create a tradition, which is easier for people to follow. This is what followers think. Followers think, what culture can I follow? What tradition can I follow? What systems can I live by? This is what everybody goes through. So if we can create that ecosystem in indoor, if we can create that culture in indoor, that hey, Apna city, we have a responsibility, you have seen the results. The rest of them will automatically follow whatever culture you have created, whatever system you have created, whatever tradition you have created. So even organizational development, since it's a management association, I have to say this, only 4% of Asian companies, family businesses seize the third generation. Only 4% of Asian companies survive three generations. You want to create a legacy, whatever business you have built, seven generations later, ten, like European companies, where ten generations later the brand should still live, then at the heart of it you will have to th remember this. People will follow culture, tradition, systems. What is IMA? A system. Now some of them will leave their position, somebody else will take. Next year we will have an event even grandier than this. After that there will be a... Why? Because people will follow systems, people will follow tradition. People. So if you create culture, tradition and systems, you will create a legacy. If you will only work on a few people, 
in your lifetime you will see a lot of success but when you die the brand you have created will also slowly recede you will not be able to build a legacy i want to conclude this entire program by sharing all my programs end with the same last 3 minutes it's never changed there was a father who was reading the newspaper and a 6 year old child came and said papa can you play with me and the father still wanted to read the newspaper the child was adamant saying that papa you should play with me just then the father saw there was a full page advertisement of an international courier company where the world map was printed and they had shown that they, they deliver goods all over the world in a moment of situational brilliance the father tore the sheet of paper tore it into multiple pieces scattered it all over the floor and he told the child beta this is your jigsaw puzzle assemble the world map properly and once you are done papa will play with you thinking he has bought time he continued to read the paper in less than 5 minutes the child called out to him and said dad look and the world map was already in place he was stunned how can a child solve this in such a short time immediately the child said papa i have to confess when you were tearing the newspaper there was a face of a man on the other side papa i don't know where new zealand should be where canada should be where india should be but papa i know where no should be where for it should be where i should be where and the child said papa i got the man right the world became right if enough of us can continue to feel proud about being an indian and proud about being from your city whatever your city is whether it's indore or whatever it is if enough of us can say that i will be a role model that the next generation will be able to emulate if enough of us can understand that whatever i wanted to grow in my life on that i will invest time and communication and whatever i wanted to leave from my life i won't give it my time and communication if enough of us can understand the power of atma shakti by purifying ourselves from within and truly living a spiritual life rather than religious identification and if enough of us can ensure that i'm here to create a legacy understanding people follow followers i will create systems tradition and culture and whatever i represent i can only tell you the future will be infinitely more beautiful than the entire past and thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my morning with all of you i love you all so much thank you Oh, oh, oh.